Hey everyone, my name is Nathaniel Watts and I work with Tatasso. What I'm going to do today is give a quick recap video of how our waiver system works. How you'll log in, how you'll find your consumer and clock in, how you'll log progress against their long-term goals as well as the treatment in general, and how you'll go about clocking out to end services. And then finally, how you'll lock the note to submit it to your supervisor. What you can see here is my phone, and you see an icon on it called Waiver Demo. Now this environment that we'll be using is a demo environment, so it'll be a little bit different than what you see on your end. But I'll make sure to let you know what things are different and what will be the same. I'm going to tap on my icon. In here, I've loaded in and I see the page for Datasso for signing in to our waiver system. Now at the top, you can see that it says waiver dash demo. The URL is different than the one that we've given you, and that's okay. This is specifically our demo environment. You would still be connecting to waiver.detasso.com. From here, I'm going to sign in with my client ID. Again, this is different than the one that we've given you. My staff ID, which for you will be the first letter of your first name and last name, a dash, and then a number. If you don't remember this, you can ask your supervisor. And then your password. This is something that you should have set up beforehand with your supervisor. Now, once I have logged in correctly with my staff ID and password, I'll be prompted for a confirmation code. This confirmation code is a text message that we send to you to confirm that you are the one who is logging into your account. This is really just to make sure that your account is extra secure. So if you're on an Android device, that'll have come through a text message and you can copy that code out of a text message. If you're on an Apple device, it'll still come through as a text message, but Apple will pull it out of the text message for you. and You can see it listed here on my keyboard. So I'm going to tap from messages, my confirmation code, and it'll automatically fill that field for me. And I can tap on confirm, and this will take me to my dashboard. Here I am at the dashboard, and I can see some basic information. My unlock notes, my rejected treatment notes, if I have any, and then the current treatment notes that are active and my patients. Being here at the dashboard means that I am logged in to the waiver system. I cannot see this page unless I have specifically logged in. So the next step will be to find our consumer or our patient and clock in for services. I'm going to click on my patient Tobias. Immediately, I'm asked if I would like to share my location. This is something that you absolutely need to do. If you don't do this, you will not be able to clock in to render services. This is part of the federal EVV mandate in order for us to verify that you are exactly where you say you are. I'm going to hit allow so that I can clock in. And here I'm on Tobias's profile. We have basic information, address, gender, allergies, birth date, the available services that I, as his DSP, can clock in for and then his treatment plan. I'm going to go ahead and clock in. If I tap clock in for supported living, it'll ask me which rate I would like to clock in as. Your employer may provide you multiple options of rates to clock in as, perhaps a day rate or a night rate or a weekend rate, or they may pay you the same rate straight across the board. Here, I'm going to select day rate. And then I'm going to be given a confirmation screen. This is just to make sure that you are clocking in exactly as you would intend. It says you are about to clock in to provide supported living to Tobias at your day rate. And that is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to tap again. Yes, clock me in. Here, I've been clocked in to render services. Now, if that was an error and I've just clocked in, I can click, excuse me, tap undo. And that will end the note and it'll cancel it out and I can pick something else. 
In our case, though, we have clocked in, and this is what we wanted to do. You can see here under the note details, it says you are clocked in for this treatment note. I'm currently providing services. You can see that I've been clocked in and the address in which I've clocked in. Here, I this is the place where I will be residing while I'm rendering services to my client. So from here, we've gone through two of the steps of using the waiver system. We've logged in, we've clocked in, and now we're rendering services. From here, let's talk about adding progress notes. The progress note is just a general summary of what we've done for the day or what our session has, has had. I'm going to tap Add Progress Note. From here, I can add my notes. Now, if you wanted, you could also use the dictation feature on your phone to speak your notes into the note itself. Here, I'm going to save and close, and this saves the note for the treatment. What I can also do is I can log progress towards Tobias's long-term goals. Tap on log progress, and I can choose my objective key. I'm going to choose verbal cues because I had to give I had to remind Tobias to dress himself. And here I'm going to save and close. So here you can see that I have edited or added a progress note and I can edit it and I've also logged progress for one of Tobias's long-term goals and I can also edit it from here or continue to log progress against other long-term goals. The final two steps of using the waiver system are clocking out and then locking the note. So say I'm done rendering services and my shift is done. Here I would tap on clock out, and I'm met with a prompt. You're about to clock out. Once you are clocked out, you cannot clock back in for this treatment note, and only a supervisor will be able to edit your time. So I will hit yes, clock me out. All right, I'm officially clocked out. Now this note has not been submitted to my supervisor yet, because maybe I want to make some adjustments or change one of the notes or log progress on a goal that I didn't have time to log earlier. Now, if I'm sure that I would like to submit this note, I would then have to lock the note, and we'll do that right now. And it says, please confirm you're about to lock this treatment note. Once it's locked, it will be submitted for approval. Yes, I will lock the note. And we can, we can see the confirmation up top. The treatment has been locked. And from here, I'm able to view the progress or view the progress note, but I'm no longer able to edit it. If I were to want to edit it or change something, I would have to unlock the note here at the bottom, confirm, make my changes, and then re-lock the note later. So those are the basic steps of using the waiver application. I'll also quickly highlight how the approval process works in case your note was rejected. I'm going to go to my dashboard, and I can see up top that there's been a note that's been rejected. I will tap this note, and at the top, I can see that there has been feedback left for me. I'll tap the Feedback tab. And there's a piece of feedback from my supervisor. It says, I appreciate the hard work you've put in for this client. Please take the time to log more progress for this treatment session. I look forward to seeing the rest of what you have to share. Now, if we go back to our note details, where we have our clocking out and locking actions, we can see at the bottom 
that I'm not able to lock this note until I have marked that I have made changes. So let's do that real quick. So we've had a, we have a progress note, but I didn't log progress towards a long-term goal. So let's do that. I'm going to save and close. And for here, now that I've made my adjustments, I'll go back up to the top, tap on feedback. Now I'm going to mark this as complete and lock the note. Again, a confirmation. You're about to mark this as fixed and re-lock this treatment note for approval. Now I'll say yes, complete. And now if we see to the bottom, at the bottom, the note has been locked. Now I can view the, the progress that I just added, but I can no longer edit it. And that's the gist. If you have any questions, by all means, reach out to your supervisor or our team, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.